Hi, it's Peg with Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I am a metalsmith jewelry fabri fabricator that has turned into a junk journal junkie and an altered book creator. So what I would like to talk about today is some of the basic supplies that I find myself using, which are Mod Podge, Texture Paste, and Gesso. And exploring the possibility of it being cheaper to go buy the ingredients to make those things and put them together myself versus purchasing them online or at a big box store. So the supplies that I have uncovered that I need is Plaster Paris, which you can purchase four pounds for $3.96 at Walmart in the paint section. Baby powder, find it anywhere. Equate baby powder at Walmart, $2.24. White acrylic paint, I bought one quart of Kilts Cover All White Acrylic for $11.87. I know there's cheaper brands. Glue, I use Elmer's and purchased the one gallon container for $29.48, which worked out to about $1.84 per cup of glue. And then, of course, you need some water. And we can grab that right out of our faucet. So let's get started with putting these items together. The texture paste is quite easy to do. It is one cup of glue, one cup of paint, and four cups of baby powder, or one part glue, one part white acrylic paint, and four parts baby powder. You know, make it in whatever denomination you want, but just keep that ratio the same. I gathered some tubs out of my kitchen, old butter tubs, etc., because they're very easy to store. I like the wide mouth to store things in. The baby powder I put in first, then I covered it with the glue. I'm using a craft stick to just get the, the remnants of the glue out of the cup, and then I add in the paint. And once I have all of the ingredients in the container, I'm going to mix until it is the texture or the consistency that I like to work with. What I found when I was mixing it, I think I over measured the baby powder a little bit. So it was kind of dry and I just added about a tablespoon of water. You can see me pour it into the cap from the glue container and that was all it took to get it to the consistency which I like to work with. i pulling in a piece of craft paper and a stencil just to show you how easily it spreads. It is spreading quite easily. Um, going on the stencil with the palette knife um, very smoothly, very simple <laughs> if, if you will. And I have been working with this texture paste that I made for about a week now, and I am having absolutely no issues with it whatsoever. It dries really nice. It takes the paint color really nice if I'm going over it with an acrylic paint or any type of, of paint, actually. It sands well if I'm wanting to uncover um, move down to my gesso or move down to my texture on a background layout, it it works quite well. So I'm very happy with it. From a cost standpoint, I have $4.44 for eight ounces, as opposed to what you can buy in the big box store. It comes in 3.9 ounce packages for $8.49. So ounce per ounce, um, eight ounces of homemade texture paste, 444. Buying two cans of the or two containers of the texture pa paste in the big box stores to get the same amount would be about $17. So I would say that's a pretty good savings, and I don't see myself ever purchasing texture paint again. I believe I'll I'll make my own. So just to recap that texture paste recipe is one part glue. I used Elmer's, one part white acrylic paint. I used stock white from the hardware store or Walmart and four parts baby powder. And I used a bit of water to thin it to the consistency that I wanted. 
So moving on to the decoupage glue or Mod Podge. It is a simple formula, one third cup water or one third part water to one part glue. So one third cup to one cup is, is how I'm making it here. So I have my, my glue and my one third cup of water. I think I have a little um, mark on the side of my container there where it is one third cup and you just mix it together, stir it up, shake it up, and you have your, your decoupage medium or your, your um, mod podge, if you will. And the cost on that is $3.68 if you're going to make two cups of it or $1.84 per cup of glue. So in this particular batch, I had $1.84 for eight ounces, the 16 ounce container is $12. So you divide that in half, it's about $1.84 to six bucks for the same amount of product. So I would say that's quite a cost savings as well. And as you can see, it works quite well um, adhering that paper and, and sealing it in. So just to recap, three parts glue, to one part water, or one cup of glue to one third cup of water, two cups of glue, two thirds cup of water, you get the drift. And it works just great. I have been using that as well. So now on to the gesso. Gesso is one part glue, one and a half part of plaster of Paris, one part water, and three parts paint. So we're going to go with one cup of, or one and a half cups of plaster of Paris. And then we will add one cup of glue. And once we get that in, we will add one cup of water, which will give us the opportunity to stir it around a little bit. And three cups of paint. I guess I decided not to stir. So three cups of paint, two, three, and stir that up. Mix in all the pieces of the plaster of Paris. And you have a batch of gesso. So the cost on this gesso is $6.82 and to purchase the same amount you would spend about $28. So that gesso spreads great. I always spread mine with a credit card. Sometimes I use a paintbrush, but in any event, it worked fine. One part glue, one and a half parts plaster of Paris, one part water, and three parts paint. I did find that the gesso is a little grittier than the purchased, so I take fine sandpaper and just um, use run it fine sandpaper over the sheet once I gesso it, um, and it works fine for my purposes, mixed media purposes. And you can see the texture paste dried fine. I'm covering it with the acrylic paint just to show you that it does take the color incredibly well. It has worked great. The Mod Podge that I made has worked quite well. And the gesso is perfect for my purposes. If I were a painter, I'm not sure that I would use it to cover my canvas, but for what I do, it's great. So thank you very much for watching my video. If you liked what you saw, I would ask you to please subscribe and share, help me get this uh, channel up and running. It's brand new, as you can probably see, and I would really appreciate your help. So if you would subscribe and hit that bell, and you will be notified when we put out weekly videos. So they will all be centered towards mixed media um, in some way. And once again, I thank you.